Upper screws. Remove the three Torx screws at the top. Then pull the bumper out of the front panel at the top. Screws to the wheel housing liner. The bumper is fixed with three screws to the wheel housing liner. Remove them. Screws to the fender. Fold the wheel housing liner a bit to the side. The screw is located at the rear end of the bumper. It is screwed from bottom to top. Once the screw has been removed, the bumper can be pulled out of the guide. Bottom screws. Simply remove all screws that are screwed directly to the bumper. Removing the bumper. Pull the bumper slightly forward on the left hand side. Underneath is the central connector for the parking sensors. Lever down the clip on the rear end. This will release the lock on the front. To unplug the fog lights, either press the lock and unplug the connector. Or loosen the lamp by turning it out of the reflector. Now it's possible to remove the bumper. On vehicles with headlight washer, disconnect the hose couplings by pressing the blue lock. The water can be reused. Replace parking sensors. Press the guide apart on both sides and push the sensor in from the outside. To unplug, pull the white lock back a bit and press it.
Be careful not to lose the rubber seal. Remove and reinstall the headlight washer cover. Pull out the cover of the headlight washer system and carefully separate the nozzle from the plunger. Carefully lift the hook on the back while pulling the cover. When reinstalling, push the nozzle and cover back into the piston. The hook snaps back into the piston by itself. Pull out the cover one more time and check if the nozzle is fully engaged. Press together a little bit more, if necessary. <laughs>